Dangling like a string of pearls off the coast of North Carolina lies one of the only remaining natural barrier island systems in the world. This crystal coast, as they call it, forms 85 miles of silken coastline that's topped with a classic lighthouse. These are North Carolina's southern outer banks. These two young families have come all the way from California for an overdue reunion of close friends. But the crystal coast of North Carolina is brand new to them. The anticipation was just buildings were driving down and all of a sudden, my 10-year-old Emma, she said, oh my God, Dad, there it is. She screamed and it was so exciting. It was so much bigger than I thought. It was incredible. It was beautiful. The perception that we had of a vacation rental home was that this is somebody owns this home and I a professionally it. managed vacation home was amazing. It was really fun when Jody got here because I had seen the place and I knew she was going to love it. Opening the doors out to the balcony and overlooking the pool, our backyard, the beach, and seeing for miles was awesome. And then the kids were going crazy because they couldn't get enough of everything that they were trying to experience. A big part of the Crystal Coast is basically one large interconnected sandbar and the only way to get an idea of the lay of the land is to either be a seagull or pay a visit to the Cape Lookout National Seashore. Just to get out there was a, a trip in itself. We've been to a few lighthouses in our travels and this one was a lot different. We had to take a ferry just to get to the island that the lighthouse was on. Every lighthouse is different and that way it denotes where the sailors are. But I thought all lighthouses were there for one reason, to keep ships from running ashore, but at the same time, I didn't realize they were painted different or had different sizes. Welcome to Cape Lookout National Seashore. My name is Kirby. You are about to climb 207 steps, roughly equal to a 12-story building, so please pace yourself. I had never been to a lighthouse before, so I was very excited to go out there and see it, and I wasn't expecting to be as in awe of it as I was. Just a bit further down the road from where you take the ferries to Cape Lookout is a ranch that is unique in the world. Ooh, we're here. It's the second home of bona fide living legends, the wild horses of Shackelford Banks. Carolyn Mason has dedicated her whole life to preserving this 16th century strain of Spanish horses. She's brought many of these horses back to health and they're now sprite, energetic, running around, and it was really very exciting. Can I ask you something? Yes, sir. Are these horses out here all year round? They are. They're like deer and other wild animals. That was one of the highlights for me, is seeing those horses, and then to be able to see them in the wild was truly amazing. <laughs> these California families are about 2,500 miles from their real homes on America's west coast. Their travels brought them to this part of the east, and they decided to reunite here in the Crystal Coast. What they didn't expect is that these southern outer banks have a way of casting a spell over you that's not easy to shake off. But what's happening here is that there's a lifelong memory in the making, and it looks like there's a good chance that in the future, vacationing in the Crystal Coast of North Carolina is going to turn into a family tradition. That is, whenever they're getting away together.